There were plenty of times that I felt God in my life, whether it was in a bunk in a jail cell, reading the scriptures with tears streaming down my face, whether it was placing missionaries who were out of their area, who called me by my name, providing me with the very essentials they said they were prompted in prayer that morning to bring. I saw God when I first saw pregnant Reed on an at-home pregnancy test when I moved here. I saw God when I saw my daughter's ultrasound for the first time. I was 28 28 weeks pregnant. I saw God in the works of the social worker who found me and worked on Christmas to get me into a program that saved my life. I saw his work through the women whose faith inspired me beyond measure. And I saw God in the face of strangers at a shelter that I lived at, breaking bread and sharing their testimony to whoever would listen. I have seen God so many times in my life that it is clear of his promises to never leave me or forsake me. You see, if it was up to me, I would not be standing here in front of you today. I wouldn't be blessed with my daughter who is healthy and happy despite the lifestyle that I lived prior to finding out about her existence. If it was up to me, I would have never found recovery, which led me back to community church, which led me back to God. My journey didn't happen overnight, but five years of patience, love, dedication from our outreach team, Barry, Jesenia, has all led me here. God gave us baptism by immersion so that my sins of old may be washed away and my life can be as clean as the earth right after rain. He also gave us the agency that I may choose how I walk daily before this moment and especially after this moment. But God knew and gave us repentance because he knows that although we are made of his image, that we are still of flesh and blood. The book of Luke states, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So the answer to that is simple. We are always worthy of God's grace, love, and glory. And I know that I stand on God's word because it is the truth not a single soul can take from me. I know that without faith, I cannot please God. And I am finally sure of where my faith lies. And I am ready for my feet to walk out what my heart feels. Acts 22, 16 states, And now what are you waiting for? Get up and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on his name. I was and I am humbly ready to serve the Lord. Melissa. Okay, girl. Okay, dude. You accept Jesus into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior. Thank you. So it is my honor and privilege in the presence of God and His people to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son. Jesus, we love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.